Alrighty then, we're back. Thank you for joining me. Let's continue on with our drawing uh, video and uh, take a look at some things. In this video, I like to show you how to make some edits to your uh, to your uh, title block. So if you look at my title block, there's some things that are wrong here, some things that aren't quite right. You want to make sure that you fill in everything according to project number three, and most of you in class probably have already done that. If you haven't, you need to make sure you go back to project three. But there's some things in project three that are uncovered here, and I kind of nagged you a little bit about this in class, but let me nag you some more here. There's some things that aren't quite right here. For instance, our title here, including the spelling change. I promised to change that a while back, and I still haven't done them. I'm going to go ahead and change that right now. We want to make sure that our file can fit within the space that we're provided for it. That is being provided for it. We can move some of the elements around a little bit in the sheet format, but I'm just going to go ahead and make my text a little bit smaller here and uh, make certain that, that that fits. My description of my object is a little bit big. I'm going to go ahead and change that description a little bit and make it a little bit smaller so it fits in here. Uh, my dimensions are in units, but I didn't make my conversion here. I think some people in class probably didn't do this either. I'm going to make sure you convert this uh, to inch equivalents. So we're going to take our metric units and divide that by 25.4. And this area here, interpret geometric, uh, geometric tolerancing, uh, that's in pretty good shape, so I'm not going to change that. Our, uh, the lines over here in regard to my uh, logo aren't quite right. So we want to make sure that they have the same color lines as it is over there. It looks kind of amateurish, a bit uh, kind of uh, like those details kind of left out. Now, proprietary and confidentiality uh, agreement or statement over here. Uh, we want to make sure that everything's within the border, and that's typical of all of our text. We want to make sure it's all within the borders here, and we can make modifications to all that if we had to. So let me do this. I'm going to go ahead and make my title a little bit uh, shorter here. And if you remember how to do that, you can go up to our part and open that up just by right-clicking on that part. Oop, that's not what we want. Mm. I'm going to make sure that we open up uh, the actual assembly. So this isn't really a part, it's an assembly. But it serves as a part because there's a lot of different uh, elements to that part. It actually ends up coming out as a part because uh, this is actually assembled as a weld unit. But if you want to find out what uh, where those things are, I mean, it's kind of like an assembly here. Uh, we have our, our sheet view. Each one of these, um, I mean, if you start from the top up here, we have a regular sheet. And we have a sheet format, which includes a tile block and border. And within that sheet format, we have our views. We have our drawing view 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1, as you can see it highlighted over here, is our front view. And then 2, 3, and 4, 4 being our isometric view over here. Uh, and within that is our assembly. Within that assembly are all of our different parts. Within the parts are features. Within those features are sketches. So it goes all the way down from the top to the bottom. So let me go ahead and open up the lower gauge wheel arm assembly. And uh, let's go ahead and open that. I'm going to go ahead and resave that and give it a different description. So file, save as, and that's okay. It's warning us that we uh, might be overwriting a file that's already in there. So right now I have lower gauge wheel arm assembly in there, and it uh, looks like it's actually spelled correctly. So let's do this. Actually, you know, that that's a pretty decent title, and yes, I want to go ahead and do that. So you want to make sure that when you do save this, and you put something in the description, this description uh, go, goes into a document that turns uh, that populates an interface document that goes between our part or assembly drawing into the drawing, uh, so it can pick up that information when it goes into that drawing. So lower gauge wheel assembly that's probably okay, and if you don't have that uh, section filled in for the description, you want to make sure you do that. So let's go to yes. Let's go ahead and close that out. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my sheet format and uh, make the edits here. It's adequately descriptive, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that. So we're going to go to our font. Even though it may not be ideal, and there's ways of uh, the, taking that description and dividing it up into two lines, but we're not going to go into that right now, but I'm going to go into my points and probably make that a little bit smaller, just to make sure it does fit. And yeah, I might consider going uh, even smaller than that. Now, if you want to edit this text and just put in your own text and put it on two different lines, you can do that. If you go to Edit Text in Windows, you can actually see that if we edit that text, what it's going to do is going to just, uh, erase this uh, sheet property called Description in here. Maybe we can put it in on our own text. Not quite what we want to do, but I'm going to still click on that text and then change its size from uh, maybe 12 to 11. Just to make sure it all fits in there. Line it up. 
that's okay as long as I'm here in sheet format let me go ahead and make these other changes uh, the two decimal place uh, change for this is going to be two uh, thousandths of an inch so I'm going to type in uh, 0 .020 zero. and this one's going to be uh, three times bigger so it's going to be 0 .060 and those are the inch equivalents for those metric values that we got out of the book these lines here we want to make sure that uh, this line is the same color as that line so as I've been instructing other people in class let's go ahead and take that um, that image, move that off to the side, and let me go ahead and erase these lines and put the, the correct lines in here. What I could do is go to my Trim Extend tool and pull that out, go ahead and uh, draw a line, probably from the end point here all the way up here, and then trim it down here, and then trim everything else out of the way to make sure I have a box over here. But if I click on that line, and we're just going to stick with the, the format that's already in there, it's on the None layer. If you don't have your Layer Toolbar out, toolbar out right click on your command manager scroll down to that layer toolbar and bring that to life typically it's going to show up down here in the lower left hand corner let's go ahead and drag that up to the upper right hand corner you could do that by dragging uh, the box over here grabbing on where those uh, dots are but uh, we're going to go to none click on line pull this line up Bit of trim extend, and uh, I thought I had that line out here, but apparently not. I'm going to pull that line over, this line down, and trim it as we go. Now I have a box that's consistent with everything else, uh, with all the other line colors on uh, on my toggle block. So the last thing I'm going to do is probably pull this thing over. Let's go to sketch picture, move this over so it's in the middle a little bit. Everything looks like it's in pretty good shape, so I'm going to right-click, go back to Edit Sheet, from Edit Sheet Format. Now our title block's good to go. And uh, yeah, so for this thing down here, our file name, let's go ahead and change that. Hit it sheet format again. Let's make this small. So font, right now it's a 10. Then we can go down to 8. And that looks like it fits pretty well. You probably don't want to get any smaller than this font over here. So if you click on that font, I think that goes down to uh, actually 6 points. So 8 seems to fit. That works out okay. Satisfied with that, let's go back and uh, edit sheet. Now we're ready to do some additional work on our drawings. So that's enough for this video. Please join me for video number three.